So we all have a story of being cracked open, thus allowing the metaphorical light to shine in, um, which often engenders a transformation. So this is my story of that. Hit it, Steve. I wasn't ragdolling down the 40 degree couloir slope anymore, and though I had lost a ski and was sliding on my back head first at high speed, I experienced a moment of relief. After falling at the top of the couloir, I had tumbled head over heels at least four times completely out of control. I was afraid I wouldn't stop tumbling until the bottom. But something nudged me not to be complacent, urging me to look where I was sliding. Craning my head back to look, I saw I was heading straight for a fin of rock jutting from the edge of the couloir, about 20 yards away from impact. With no time to think, body reacting instinctively, I threw my legs over my head in a desperate attempt to self-arrest with one ski on. I stomped the landing like a gold medal gymnast, barely stopping in time. Um, I could have leaned out and touched the rock with my hand. Um, all my friends were at the bottom already, and so it did take me some time to regain my ski poles and composure and ski down. Afterwards, I was completely uninterested in skiing for a very long time, and it was the last time I'd go to the Beartooth for a while as well. I was traumatized by this close brush with death, and the resulting trauma symptoms impacted my ability to live life the way I'd always envisioned for myself. Living here, I'd venture a guess that this is something you or someone you know can relate to. Maybe it wasn't skiing, maybe it was while mountain rock or ice climbing, mountain or dirt biking, whitewater paddling, hunting, paragliding, or on horseback. It doesn't matter how the trauma occurred. The general mechanism of injury and how to heal from it are the same. And this is why I'm here. We have all experienced trauma of some sort, with the symptoms impacting us in ways we may not even realize. As adventurers, though, these symptoms are most noticeable when they keep us from getting back on the rope, bike, boat, etc. And as I speak, I invite you to track your reactions internally. Is any of this triggering for you? Do you find your mind wandering and all of a sudden have a hard time paying attention? If so, this can be a more subtle symptom, and this info may be especially relevant for you. I'm here with a message of hope, though. Trauma doesn't have to be a life sentence. It can be healed, and you can get back to doing the things you love with the people you love doing them with. This healing journey led me to Buddhism, yoga, meditation and mindfulness, pop psychology, shamanism, psychotherapy, all the things. But none of it was really helping. I still felt stuck in the patterns that were holding me back, despite all my efforts to think positively and effort harder and just get over it, until I discovered the life's work of Dr. Peter Levine, developer of somatic experiencing, Soma is Latin for the body of an organism, and thus somatic means relating to the body. Basically, somatic experiencing, or SE for short, is a trauma resolution technique that helps us to heal by releasing trauma held in the body. You see, most folks think trauma is all in our heads because the symptoms, so many of them are psychological, and that we should be able to just buck up, think positively, and get over it, and move on with our lives. Many folks, feeling ashamed by their inability to willfully pull themselves out of this, sell all their gear and walk away forever from activities they used to enjoy. <clears throat> but I'm here to tell you this reaction is normal and does not mean you are weak. You, my friend, simply have a stress injury. And, like any injury, proper treatment is needed to heal. When trauma occurs, it is an injury in the body, and therefore, the healing solution must address the body. You can't just mentally talk yourself out of it. This is why many forms of traditional talk therapy aren't effective in healing trauma, and why I was so frustrated in my own quest for healing, until SE at least. So, what is trauma? Our nervous system's one job is to keep us safe and alive. When we perceive a threat, our nervous system mobilizes an immense amount of energy so we can fight or flee in what is called the threat response cycle. When this cycle is interrupted, this is the origin of trauma. A description, by the way, far oversimplified for the sake of time. To help heal from this, an SE practitioner will pay close attention in a session to how the body resumes this incomplete energy cycle in the moment and works with these somatic processes, helping them to complete. 
For instance, one of the somatic processes I was unable to integrate during my slide for life was my shock at seeing the rock fin coming at me. Integrating the shock when a threat is perceived, as well as completing defensive movements the body wasn't able to perform in the moment, as well as discharging excess survival energy are all things that SE helps the body and mind to integrate. Once integrated, the symptoms of trauma resolve and the interrupted cycle is finally complete. It's truly a wonder to see people come into my practice um, with tangible symptoms that are gone after treatment. So, how do we know if we have trauma that needs resolution? Here's one easy yardstick. If your reaction to a situation seems disproportionate to that event, it's likely a trauma response. For example, the next season after my slide for life, I was driving up to the ski hill, planning on doing easy green and blue runs. As an experienced skier, this is completely within my ability to accomplish safely, yet I was feeling very freaked out about it. So besides severe anxiety, symptoms of trauma can include avoidance of anything that might remind us of the incident, trouble sleeping, chronic pain, depression, intrusive thoughts, among many others you can find listed online. But since finding SE, I am now able to enjoy the intermediate skiing I love. It also helped me gain clarity that I was pushing myself way too hard to keep up with my badass friends, which got me in the slide for life situation in the first place, as I had absolutely no business being out there. I've confidently set appropriate boundaries so I don't get myself into another situation like that, whether on the snow, trails, or water. Knowing my limits, I find adventure fun again, instead of anxiety inducing. If you relate to my experience and want to learn more, Somatic Experiencing International is the organization that trains somatic experiencing practitioners around the world and has an online directory that can help you find a practitioner who fits your needs. SC practitioners are coaches like myself, psychotherapists, physical and massage therapists, doctors, etc., with a wide array of specialties that can help you get back outside to continue enjoying our beautiful backyard in whatever way brings you the most joy with your people. It's been wonderful to be with you all tonight. Thank you for witnessing me. If you're interested in learning more, I have a resources page on my website and would welcome connecting with you. In the meantime, be well and have a wonderful autumn.